What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you a brand new series to the channel. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, Midnight Wolf. Hello, I'm Midnight Wolf. Welcome to a brand new Warlock. <laughs> yes, absolutely, a Warlock. Um, what is a Warlock, you might be asking. Uh, Midnight, are you ready to go through these rules? Yeah, go for it. Alright, rule number one. Each player selects 30 base Pokemon. These Pokemon should be competitive. Ensure that they are IV bred and EV trained so that these Pokemon are ready for battle. TR moves and egg moves can be placed on these Pokemon. All Pokemon must be level 1 except for one Pokemon who may begin at level 5. This Pokemon may be considered your starter. If at any time during the playthrough a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be boxed. After the first gym battle, I'll try that again. <laughs> After the first gym badge, both players battle in a 4v4 double battle. After which, the victor may force the losing trainer to kill off two Pokémon of the winner's choosing. The type of battle will occur for the first, second, third, fifth, sixth, and seventh gym battle. The only Pokémon that can be considered dead in these battles are the Pokémon that the victor decides. After the fourth gym badge, the players battle in a 6v6 doubles battle, at which point any Pokemon that faints in these battles are considered dead. Only the Pokemon that survived the battle may move on. These types of battles occur after the fourth gym badge, the eighth gym badge, and after the champion battle. Number six. The game ends when one player no longer has any Pokemon remaining. Any Pokemon with special evolution conditions may be meta at any time that it feels appropriate. Dynamax is not allowed in the 4 feet 4 battles, however in the 6 v 6 battles it is allowed. Level cap rules are as follows. First and second gym max level is 25. Third gym max level is 30. Fourth and fifth gym max level is 40. Sixth gym max level is 45. Seventh and eighth gym max level is 50. All standard Nuzlocke rules apply and random shiny encounters may be captured. Excellent. All right, now that you guys have heard the rules, Midnight, are you ready to begin our adventure? Oh, I am ready. Right on. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we are walking out of here. Um, if you guys check really quick, I'm going to pop open my Pokey Links, and that is my squad that I'm taking on this adventure oh, today. Oh, mine's already been open. <laughs> right on. There it is. All right. We're going to run into Hop right here, and uh, Hop is going to take us up north. And uh, we're going to go check out the Professor's House. Um, I'm going to give everybody a little peek at my Pokemon. I think I'm going to hide them from Midnight for a little <laughs> bit, though, because I don't want Midnight to get any good strategies before our first gym battle. Uh, let's check it out real quick. Here, guys, I'll, I'll let you spot. I'm going to save these names. I wonder if uh, Midnight will be able to figure it out. Uh, up first, we have Agent, and these are its moves. We have Drago. We have DJ Spinda. And it's not a spinda. <laughs> we have Chip. We have Bright Time. And we have Charlotte. Okay, so. Bright Time is almost definitely a Taurus. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, I'm guessing, is a Joltic. Um, spinda is not a spinda because spinda's not in the game, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Drago, I'm guessing Dreepy. Okay. And then I already know what um, Agent is. You got one of them right. I got one right. Or two right, rather. Oh, well, oh. what is Agent? Oh, Agent's a Sobel. Yeah, you, okay, you got both right. Okay, you got two of six right. Which one Which one did I get right? You Wait. got the Sobel right, and you got uh, the Charlotte right. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I will show off my team, and you can potentially try and guess. All right, let me see what um, you got here. Them. I'm just getting out of Leon mm -hmm. talking 50 million words to me. Oh yeah, he will not stop talking. Lots of chat and hop. Now just go, and I will show off my team. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got, uh, we've got Nasha. We mm -hmm. have got Jelly Top. We have got uh, Tortle. 
Oh, we've got Toro. We've got Mecha Lord, and we've got Lycan. Uh, Lycan, I'm gonna guess is a Rockruff. Correct. Um, the the Turtle, I'm gonna guess is Squirtle. No. No. Really? Okay. Um, Mecha is that Beldum? No. No. Wild. Um, Nessa, is that a... Nasha. You said Nessa, right? Nasha. 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 Okay, so I think I got one right. <laughs> oh, Tori is not a Tauros? Toro, Toro is Taurus. Gotcha. Hmm. Dang. I. Okay. Rock Ruff, that's the... The Rock Ruff, oh gosh. Hmm. Hey, Which kind of Rock Ruff is it going to be, though? Oh, Jelly Top. Uh, is that Jellicent? No, but close. No. Close to Jellicent. Hmm. Close to Jellicent. Oh, is that uh, what's it called? The uh, Ultra Beast? No. No. Hmm. Dude, I have no clue. Gen One. Tell you that much. Oh, is it a Tentacruel? It is a Tentacruel. I can, you know what's crazy? I completely forgot Tentacruel was even in the game. I I think it was in Crown Tundra. It came in. Mm -hmm. It's one that I have not... I have not played with a Tentacruel in so long. See, I love playing in Festive. Mm -hmm. My whole team just shot up in levels. Same. My whole team right here. I have literally picked this team just to help us defeat the first gym. I see mine is just chaos at the minute. And that's how yeah. I think it will be for a very long time. <sighs> that's a clutch move right there. Oh, I already have so much. Okay. That's fine. All right. We're doing it. This is oh my goodness. I'm I'm already thinking about our battle, Midnight. I'm already thinking about it. I just and I'm got nervous. Critted. First crit of the series. I mean, it didn't kill me, but okay. <laughs> it's just... Oh, H how about this? How about this? Who uh your starter Pokemon? What's your starter Pokemon name? Uh, Nasha. Nasha. Is it a Poplio? No. No. I haven't gone for an official starter. Okay, it's not an official starter. No. Wild. Um. How about you give me a hint at what type it is? How about that? It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Is it your legendary? It is not my legendary. It is not your legendary. It's one of your favorite Pokemon. Hmm. It gets hmm. intimidating. It's got intimidate. Yeah. Is it Gyarados? No. Well, I guess it would be a Magikarp, I guess. Hmm. It's got intimid is it a is it a uh, um, Growlithe? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, and I just Ooh, got a yeah. crit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, if you guys are looking at our screen, you want to know what the skull and crossbones are. That's our death counter and how many Pokemon we lose in the lock. If you want to know what the swords are, that's how many Pokemon of our opponent that we have knocked out. Um, so as you as we move on into the series and you see us battling in our battles, our warlocks, you're gonna see the uh, the meter jump up, and uh, you'll be seeing some pretty exciting stuff. Also, I do have merch that I made. It's in the description. Be sure to check it out. Uh, get yourself a uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield Warlock Cup. Uh, also, it was created by uh, one of the the greatest creators that I know on Fiverr, and a uh, link to his. Uh, page is in the description as well i might have to buy myself a mug oh yeah it's all do you drink let me ask you this because i live in the u.s you live in the uk what do, hot tea cold tea what do, what's tea your what's your tea options hmm? i went out for breakfast with my parents the other day and had a nice pot of tea you can't beat a mm. pot of tea is it, it's not the same if it's cold is that what you're saying well, we don't really get cold tea in the UK. The extent of cold tea is that you leave your tea for... Mm -hmm. So you make your tea, 
You take a mm -hmm. sip, it's too hot. You leave it to cool down and then you forget about it and come back two hours later and you think, I'm not going to waste a nice cup of tea, so you drink it cold. Okay. You never had the American sweet iced tea before? No. That is the best form of tea. Okay. I'll give you a little backstory. A little backstory. I uh, visited uh, Israel, um, I want to say a couple years ago. Turning into 2019, I believe it was. And uh, while we were there, I had my first experience with hot, warm tea, and we drank um, mint tea. Oh, I don't nice. know exactly what branded tea it was, but it was mint tea because it was mint leaves in it, and I could not get enough of it. Yeah, a lot of but the that is my, teas are really nice. Yeah, that is my only experience with hot tea, though. So no, for tea, you need to have, obviously, boiling water from a kettle. Mm -hmm. You need to have a nice tea bag. I normally go PG tits. Mm -hmm. Then, you, normally I have sweeteners. Some people have sugars. Mm -hmm. You put the hot water in, and then afterwards, you let, let it brew for a little bit, you stir it. Then you put the milk in. Never put the milk in first. If you say you're putting the milk in first, you will be hunted down by the British. I have never put milk in tea. Never. <laughs> milk in your tea. Yeah, milk in tea. Milk in coffee. Milk and coffee. Creamer and coffee, rather. Mil milk and Are you coffee, a coffee yeah. drinker? I do not drink coffee, no. No? Oh my goodness. Just the... See, I feel like that's where we mixed everything up. Uh, it, in uh, the UK, you know, your tea is hot, our coffee's hot. You know? You, you like iced coffee? Well, you don't drink coffee. I like... I guess I like coffee and tea both. Um, I can't say the same, though. I don't like them both equal. Actually, I do. It depends, because I really I'm a big breakfast person. I really like breakfast, so I oh, I have a cup of coffee at least a day, um, and maybe with dinner I'll have tea. But I'll it's always I cold tea. Rarely ever have breakfast. Yeah. Oh. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> I normally just have um, well over the summer because I've been off um, huh. on my holidays. Uh, I have been having a little bit of toast, peanut butter on toast, occasionally. Hmm. But normally, on like a normal day, I get up at about half six and I get out of the house at seven, so I don't have time for breakfast. And where, what ad crazy adventures have you been on during your holiday? Um, good question. <laughs> uh, I went on a dino walk, where we've got what? um. <laughs> basically, uh, in my local city, we've got uh, a load of dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. um, basically they've been painters and they're all over the city so it's a nice walk it's like 15k or something mm -hmm. um, I can't even remember what else I've done I'm going to the beach on Sunday which is exciting Oh, I'm looking forward to that I don't even know what else I've done going to the beach is it is it I hear it always rains in the UK, is that true? Well, weather forecast, I'll tell you the weather forecast for it, okay. So, weather forecast this week. It has been mm -hmm. a horrible summer though, it has been cloudy and just grim, mm -hmm. like it's not been sunny at all. Mm -hmm. But we've got cloud, 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 cloud through the week. Jeez. Basically. <laughs> we just got hit with a tropical storm. Yes. <laughs> And uh, we pulled out of that, and now we have another hurricane on the way. God. Um, I am from Florida. Have you have you ever been to the States? I have not. No? One day. One day, yeah. I will eventually One day, you gotta come to a PAX. Yes, one day. That would be too much fun. Are you at the hop battle yet? Uh, almost. I am beating down his Wulu with Agent 47. I am now about to begin the match. I'm actually terrified of your Growlithe. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. 
Hmm. Oh, my team currently has a very common weakness. I need to rectify that. Water. No. Ice. Ground. Fighting. I'll figure it out one day. One day. <laughs> you wouldn't tell me even if I was right. True. True. Um, what kind of rock rough are you picking? Midnight form, midday, dusk? Uh, I haven't really decided. Mm. I might just see what it evolves into. Oh, well, just let it play. I like, I really like the midnight version, and I almost picked the midnight like like and rock again, um, but I had to decide against it. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I think like rock rock was like announced just after I made my channel, and for it to have a midnight form was just really crazy. Yeah, yeah I love me midnight like and rock for sure. And this should be a dead hop. Yeah, you sweep and hop. Yep. Nice. Come on. Good stuff. Yeah, the egg move, TM, and TR placements on this game, our little baby mons are like super overpowered. Yes gonna help us get to these uh, warlocks a lot faster it's gonna help us uh, challenge each other. I wonder if my audio is gonna sound good midnight because there is nothing but thunder and lightning in the background right now I, mean, I cannot hear any thunder or lightning fantastic I mean I can't hear lightning anyways but that you, you are you're a teacher and I'm not surprised you didn't know that I can't what was that movie? What was that movie? Do you remember a movie out that was talking about uh, his name was uh, Thunder Jack because he got hit by thunder? Uh, sled dogs, sled dogs with a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his name was Thunder Jack, and they're like, "Why is he called Thunder Jack?" He's like, "Because he got hit by thunder," and he was like, "You can't be hit by thunder," and everyone was like looking at him, going, shaking their head, "Yeah, you can." <laughs> I guess everybody has been hit by thunder. Eh, so technically. Oh my goodness, we got the uh, wishing pieces. Um, I'm like seconds behind you. Our wishing stars. Are you excited? I'm actually kind of excited for Diamond and Pearl. I am. Um, I'm really excited now. I'm excited particularly for the um, Grand Underground. Mm-hmm. That's going to be insane. Did you see? Apparently, it's the entire map. Um, which we we kind of had back then but remember it was kind of blocked off there was like four different little sections yeah um when you were young and you first got uh the original diamond and pearl um did you have anybody to play with uh i have one or two people i have my okay. i think my sister had it so i did manage to get myself spirit too. oh nice we when i was a kid right around the diamond and pearl age uh my parents moved and i did not have access to all my closer friends that played yeah but um luckily luckily um a relative of mine my cousin got the game the day after i got it so we did one of those cheeky little um he'll start the game he'd get the first pokemon He'd trade it to me, and then he'd restart the game. So we yeah. each had all three starters. Nice. And that was my first play through a diamond with all three starters. <laughs> Which was just amazing. I remember, I think it was Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I transferred out my level 100 Typhlosion, and then transferred it back in onto a new file. Mm. Um, and I just kind of, I think I went with Croconaw. And I think, I think at one point I did have all three. But I remember just sweeping the league with Typhlosion, which was a very nice <laughs> feeling. Just being so powerful, no one can stop you. I got hot speech to you so much in this. Oh my goodness. Um, Let me ask you this, because we talked about Diamond and Pearl. Yep. You know I'm going to ask you. Are you ready for Legends Arceus? Oh, I'm so hyped. Literally, yeah. I am, like, the fact that they're bringing in um, Pursuing Forms... 
and stuff like mm-hmm. that. I think it's really, really like it's, it's what people want. Right. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping to see lots and lots of different forms. Yes, Braviary looks amazing. For um, sure. Obviously, gosh darn Growlithe. The Bastion Legion, whatever it's, it is, it yes. looks really, really cool. And the concept behind it's really cool as well. Mm-hmm. Who else? So, oh, Weird Ear. Weird Ear mm. does look pretty cool as well. I expect it to be a, um, a regional, though, not an evolution. Right. You know what? You are not the first person to say that. No, I think that a lot of, like, yeah, a lot of people expected it. They said it doesn't look new enough. But did you see that you can ride it? That's yes. pretty cool. Yes, and you can ride the um, the Vasculin Evolution as well. That's so awesome. I wonder how... Com- but they did say that competitive Pokemon is going to remain on Sword and Shield for a little while longer? Yeah. That what? I- okay. Yeah, I don't think either of them have ranked. Gotcha. But we know there's co-op in Legends Arceus, apparently. Oh, is there? I, don't, I didn't see that bit, because I got cut off on the, like, the last bit of the um, stream. Who, who said that? I don't remember who told me that. Someone said they seen it. Ooh, I'm going to add this shirt. Alright, I'm going to wear this shirt, because I need to stand out from our, our enemy, our, uh, our, our versus opponent here. I'm going to get this hoodie, too. There we go. There we go. I've got some camping gear. I'm going to go camping, although I've never camped in this game intentionally once. You've never camped in this game? No, I didn't I didn't do it. Never I love I love going to Pokemon camp. So, is summer camp like an actual thing that lots of people, well, like the majority of people do in America? Summer camp, I'll, I'll tell you this. I worked at a summer camp. Um, it is actually quite fun. Um, as far as like your typical, not every child in America could afford to go to, mm. to summer camp because it is quite expensive. Um, they do a lot of fundraisers to get a whole bunch of kids to go or try to get them to go. Um, it's very outdoorsy stuff, you know. Yeah. Kids nowadays are far more sheltered here in the states uh, than they were even when you know I was a kid. Um, and I'll tell you, when I was a kid, I never actually went to a summer camp, but my whole summer was, like, in my neighborhood with, like, the ten other kids that I grew up with. Yeah. But, um, working at a summer camp was very different. Um, a lot of responsibility, man, looking after kids. I, I, you I would can, know. I can guess that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... It is, uh, it's something that I enjoyed. It was fun while it was, you know, it's not like a career path or nothing, but mm. for for that one summer, yeah, I had a lot of fun. When, uh, fishing and shooting bow and canoeing and camping and mm. everything. I'm not um, sure anyone it, would trust me with a, a bow and arrow. <laughs> no? I'm too trusty. It was, uh... What was it? We we had targets out. We had coyote targets. We had uh, some boar targets. It was pretty fun. Oh, the the kids were excited. Yeah, like a like a wild hog. Wow. Yeah, very thick piece of foam. Yeah. Do you remember when the Galarian Slowpoke was announced? I do. I think. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Um, your thoughts on Wurmple? On Wurmple? From the trailer, it has that, that it has yellow horn, horn that it doesn't have? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I am... And I think you saw my tweet on this. I am hoping we are going to see that Dust Ox. Oh, that'd be so crazy. The Dust Ox that... I can't mm-hmm. think what her name is, but... Is it Clara? Clara, yeah, but it is yeah. Clara. The, the one that Clara wears. Yes. That's what I'm hoping... So cool that we see. That would be very cool. I think my main thing at the minute is I want to see. Um, why is there why is there a note on the floor? Why am I picking up a note? Are you already in the wild area? Yeah. Oh, I stopped to get clothes. <laughs> but I have fair, no socks I think on. I will get clothes later on. 
I love getting the tie, the suit and tie. Oh. I don't even know what I'm wearing in um in my main game at the minute. Oh my good dude. See in the wild area for the first time, how did you feel about that playing this game? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> what? I got this game seven days before release day. I don't and... think I even got it on release day. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think I was late getting it. Oh shoot. I I had I started my Nuzlocke. By the time that everyone else got the game, I think I was to the second gym. But I just remember me playing it and, uh, you know, I had DJ Spinda on the phone at the time. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, look at these Pokemon that were never in any trailers. <laughs> it was crazy. So crazy. I think the, the one thing that will always be like, oh my god, for me, was when the, um... When you encounter Ultra Necrozma in the um, Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah. It, that that just was like mind blowing when that uh, happened. Pinnacle of boss battles. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Um, did I. I think I, I didn't actually beat it on my first try. I think I just did it. And like, mm. I literally was on my last Pokemon, like, low on health. I don't even know if you can actually... Can you actually use that Pokemon? I'm not sure. Huh. It might be a me Mega remember. Evolution or like... Something. Mm. Well, I wonder if it's thing. like a... I, I don't know. I, do, I don't know Crosma's in the game, but can you use... Uh, uh, item I picked up? Yeah, you're right. I picked up a note on the ground and I didn't want to. Oh, um, I mean, I've, I've picked up two notes now. I'm just... Oh. Oh, why did this? What did you use that for? Oh my goodness! You're training out there. Yeah, but it's also like three levels higher than my ace. <laughs> I believe we have to go. Don't. Oh, we have to go through a whole mountain before the first gym badge, don't we? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually far, and our level cap is level twenty, I believe. So um... we got. I got to be careful. We're gonna shoot up in some levels. Uh, first and second is 25, yeah. Ooh. Thankfully, there's not a big jump. Do we stop picking up letters, please? <laughs> they don't want to talk to you. Let me Why see here. Okay. We're at level. So okay, we're strong. a pretty good level right now. Um, we had a couple. We're definitely not gonna be in any trouble for the gym. Uh, if we hurry up and get through all the talking stuff. Then I'll be able to train a little bit on Route 3, I believe, and then uh, we'll make that trip through the cave and then Route 4, and by the time we battle all those trainers, we should be sitting pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I don't know where I'm even going to be at that point, so just waiting for a <laughs> random Pokemon to die. There you go. Oh, that'd be terrible. Oh! Lose your one of your best Pokemon already. <laughs> Be I fair. don't know when I'm going to put my legend into play. I don't know. But I don't think it's going to be Earth. How about this? Um, do you know what legendary I picked? Or could you guess? Well, there are only Question. like four or five that could be level one. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm going to guess, because you are a phantom, probably Giratina. Oh my goodness! You're 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 dangerous. Yeah, I, I right. think the only ones that can be level one are Giratina, Dialga, and Palkia. So it was a one in three shot. <laughs> I never even. You know what's crazy? When I when I asked about the legendary rule, I never even considered that. I was just like, Yo, let's do legendaries. Let me pick my favorite legendary because it was a toss up between Giratina and Raikou. Yeah. Yeah, I think mm. the rest can be like a lot of them can be level five and a lot can be level ten. Uh, only a few can be level one. Goodness. I guess you could have made a legend your starter. You could you could have done. Hmm. So did you pick Dialga? I did not. Ooh. Manaphy. Manaphy? No. Manaphy. You can't get Manaphy in this, can you? 
Where's Manaphy available now? What? I don't know. I don't know. Victini. Victini's gonna get a level 5. Ah. Hmm. Mew? No. Again, I think that's a level 5 or a level 10. Hmm. Can't even think of anybody. It's not Palky or Dialga. No. No, I don't think you get Mewtwo or Mew, you said. No. None of the legendary dogs. No. Kyogre Groudon? No. Rayquaza? No. Dang. I am going to show it to the viewers in a second, but no, not Heat Ram. Type null. Nope. That mm. would have been a cool pick though. Yeah, very. Um Is that Ultra Beast? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, showing off what I picked. Showing off without viewers. letting the Phantom know. Alright, what's its name? What's its name? What's its name? Uh I don't actually know what I called it. <laughs> Wild. Uh... Oh, I didn't add a name to it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll, I'll rectify that and I will join in a different one. No, you can actually change the name right now. Uh, it's been traded in so you can't change the name. Yeah, you can. Oh, can you? Yeah. I'll run back and do that now then. He's trying to stall me out. Yes. Oh, we just got the Mystic Water. Oh, Are you exploring the whole area? <laughs> I am getting through the talky part, and then I'm going to focus on some of the trainee part. Too. Oh, look what I want to call this thing. Hmm. Is it, is it, uh... Oh, is it Reshiram? No. Uh, no, I don't want to do the da da da. da. Kiram. Uh, no. I'm gonna call it Lucifer. Is it Garatina? Yeah. Oh my good! The one I did. I just assumed that you didn't pick me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay. Is it shiny? Uh, it is not. I haven't done any shinies. Ooh, oh, my whole team is shiny. Jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it won't let me change it again. <laughs> <laughs> Did I changed... you spell it wrong? No, I just pressed L and then I accidentally <laughs> pressed the wrong button and it's now called L. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty cool name, I guess. Yeah, we got we got L the Giratina. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Oh, that's actually really funny. Uh, L the Garatina. L the Garatina. Taking those yeah, in this game, else. you can nickname them, trade the Pokemon, and then rename them one time. That is kind of cool. I didn't know about that. Really? No, I hmm. had no idea. Oh, I got given the charcoal. Ooh. Ooh, okay. The most important part of the game. I have named my number after this the entire time, and we're going to keep it. 007. I, <laughs> I suppose if you have agent, that makes sense. Yes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Snipe shot is such a cool move. It really is. Um. We can talk about. Oh, we have to wait till tomorrow, I believe. Okay. Um. Pokemon card collection. Have you been doing any TCG collecting at all? I have done two packs that I've opened. And that is it. Did you post them? Uh, I did. I did. I posted really? them quite a while ago. Huh. I want to. I can't believe I missed it. Didn't even I have to I roll it was about back. A month ago now. Dang, I definitely missed it. No idea. Okay. We burn heal. All right. Let's. Uh, we got some items. Let's slap some items on some Pokemon. Um, we have revive, which is utterly useless. Um, we got the Mystic Water. 
water. I'm going to give that to Agent 47. It was two months ago. Swift, we don't need it. I have loaded my card. Wait for me. What did you say? It was two months ago. Oh, I'm not going to be 111. How much do Pokemon packs cost in the UK? Um, It can vary. The places that... A lot of places you get them, they typically... For like one pack, it's probably about four pounds. Okay. Mm. Yeah, um, I guess that's about the. I guess that's about the same. Four dollars. Has the Pokemon Craze Frenzy hit the UK? It did. I think it did hit the UK. Yeah, because they're all okay. locked behind um, the tills now, rather than being just out on the on the start. But I think it's really? died down a lot now. Yeah, America, not so much. Oh, is it really that still that bad? Yeah. Yep. It got to the point where, like, vendors were realizing how, um, that they could increase the price of some of the packs. Yes. Yeah, because so they I was like, wow. buy them all out on day one, like, mm -hmm. rush in, and then sell them on for, like, double the price. Right. Oh, so you have card scalpers there, too, huh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And then when the the Pokemon cards at McDonald's, oh my goodness! You you're telling me, you're telling me, oh my gosh! McDonald's made so much money deciding they were gonna do that. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. And then what is it? I think it costs like if you have the entire set. I was able to get two Pokemon McDonald's packs. Oh really? Yes. I didn't get any because I don't get to McDonald's really. I went just for the packs. Yeah, that's that's what but I, I enjoyed about. the Happy Meals. But there were some people who were buying up like a hundred at a time. Yes. Which is a big no no. <laughs> right. Like insane. Like get maybe like three or four max. Yep. All right, let's hit this surf. Hmm. Surf's animation looks so good in Gen 8. Yes, it does. Any uh any plans to do any kind of challenge runs on uh Diamond and Pearl? Um I haven't fully decided yet, but I think Original, at the start, there'll be some support videos of where to okay. find certain things. I think that's my my main aim, and then right. I'll probably do some kind of Nuzlocke or something. Okay. Um, I think that's my main aim so far. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm gonna start off the game immediately with a Nuzlocke. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I believe I'm gonna move into uh, some kind of co-op that I'll be doing. Oh, nice. Um, I haven't actually played Pearl, so I'm thinking I will Nuzlocke Diamond. Yeah. And then do a some kind of, hopefully, a Wonderlock of some sort if they add the feature. Oh, that'd be really cool. Because um, that would be fun. Um, and yeah, I think that'd probably be my my uh, my main number one would probably be a, a Wonderlock of some sort. Um, I did the shield surprise lock because it's called a surprise trade now. Um, it was actually really fun. I didn't. I got a Caroplast as like one of my first two Pokemon, and oh. I was too crazy not to take it off the team, and I <laughs> lost. <laughs> I think I started off a shield play, a sword playthrough, and I think I got four episodes in before it kind of <laughs> died off. Hmm. I have a playthrough on my channel that is the fastest Nuzlocke lose you'll ever see. Um, I was playing Omicron, Zeta and Omicron, and the first encounter um, I ran into had Dragon Rage. Oh, okay. Yep. I, I've and had... 
I have the same in Fire Red where I got Explosion turn one. Mm. Love that feeling. <laughs> Love the feeling. Love it. Where are you at right now? Wolf. I am in the hotel. Did you already battle Team Yo? Uh, I'm now on the double battle. Oh, perp Oh, look, we're right here. Um, we can. S I think we should stop the, the the episode right after the battle here. Yeah, that sounds good. Perfect. And uh, this is episode zero, so you're definitely catching this on both my channel and Wolf's channel. Yep. Um, but be sure to check out the uh, the channel because I believe I will be taking up episode number one, and Wolf will be on episode number two. Um, so be sure to do that. It's gonna be um, we're gonna vice versa each channel. Uh, per episode, so be sure to subscribe to Wolf's channel if you're here on mine, so you don't miss an episode. And um, then go do the same to Phantom if you're following the Midnight Wolf. Go or subscribing, go subscribe to Phantom. He does some fantastic other content as well. So well, go I do appreciate it. it. And uh, do you know how many, how much of your videos that I watch Midnight? Like I've watched every single one of your uh, team building videos. I've oh. watched all oh, your your breakdowns. Your breakdown videos are so good. Oh, um, my team builders. Oh yeah. Yes. I, I and uh, how you how you make a com make a competitive set on Pokemon? Oh, just killing it every time. Yeah, that'll be something that comes out again in uh, Diamond and Pearl. That'll be something that starts up again. Oh, I'm excited. Which is a uh, <laughs> it's, it's a big task. It was a huge, huge task to get them all done. I think there's I don't actually know how many there are. I think there's over 400. Mm. For Gen 8. And uh, I may or may not have uh, watched your Garatina video before I uh, put Garatina on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right. You... <laughs> you had a good spot? Yep. Right on. Well, if you guys enjoyed the first episode of The Warlock, be sure to subscribe to both my channel and uh, a Midnight Wolf's channel, of course. Um, Midnight, do you have anything to say before we get out of here? Go sub, like, comment down below what your favorite Mon is so far. Who do you think is going to win this lot? Alright, everybody. I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, have a good one.